Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the fifth video of Windows Server 2012 tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install child domain control step by step full. Also you can see how to create a child domain under your forest or under your domain. So let's move and um, this is the my environment. So in previous video I have installed two domain control for with the name of my domain vectorinfosol.local my domain control is win2k12dc01 and second domain control is win2k12dc02 if you want to check out here is the dc1 server win2k12dc01 and I have installed Active Reactive and DNS both on this machine and this is dc2 with the domain name victorinfosol.local and if you want to go to check out Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. Here it is, name VictorInfoSol.local, which is my domain name. And the next server is Win2K12CDC01. The IP address of this machine is 192.168.1.252. I have assigned 2 GB RAM to this machine if this is the server nothing no roles installed no feature installed this is the fresh machine I have what I have just done I have done the rename the machine after the installation and just done the IP address configuration for this machine the manual and the IP address is 192.168.1.252 and the primary DNS is itself the server IP CDC01 IP because once the Active Directory DNS is installed, this server is promoted as a child domain control. The, the DNS server is uh, uh, this server is also work as a DNS server. So the pr the second and third DNS server is my DC01 and DC02 IP addresses. So just done these things before installing the CDC or promoting the server as a child domain control. So let's do step by step task to install a child domain so the first task is join the machine in domain so what I am going to do I am going to join this machine under the domain properties change domain vector info soul dot local and my user id and password for Victor and for sole administrator account. So welcome to the Victor and for sole domain. So server require reboot. So I'm going to reboot the server. So here it is. Server is rebooted. So the server is rebooted. I am going to hit Control to Dell, and I am going to log in with in the server with my administrator account of Victor Infosol. So I am typing Victor Infosol administrator and credential for administrator like password. Applying settings. So the next task is installed Active Directory Domain Services role from Server Manager. 
so once the server manager is loaded fully then we can go for next task so click next role based or feature based installation click next and the server is selected cdc01 click next from the server role we have to select active directory domain services check it and it's asking for required features yes need to add required features so add a feature click next on the features selection no need to select anything click next and the final is install so once the installation is done these things are installed like group management, group policy management, remote server administration tool, active directory tools and active directory light directory services tool these things are installed so just wait for a few minutes it will take one or two minutes depending on the computer speed to finish the installation so you can see installation started So moving to next step, the next step is promote server as a child domain. So I am going to promote this server to a domain controller. And here it is. I am going to select the second option, add a new, new domain to an existing forest. So this is my forest name, Victor InfoSoul. And I am going to type my CDC child domain, con domain name, which is noida dot vector infosol dot local so going to click on next it will validate the child domain name and here it is I'm going to put my password for directory register mode So here it is. Click next. Yes, DNS create DNS delegations. It's verifying the NetBIOS name for the domain for Noida. So NetBIOS name is for child domain is Noida. Click next. And next is the path selection. So I'm going to leave the default path for database, log file and sys volume. So click next. And here is the script which is going to run to promote this server as domain controller, child domain controller. So if you want to save it, click on view script. For me as, save as, desktop, cdc, installations and save it and close and now go and click next so it will validate the pre requires for for active active services so it's checking the same so all pre requires check passed successfully so we are good to go and click install so it's now validating the things for forest and it will promote the server as a child domain
so after the installation server is rebooted and it's so it will take few seconds so here it is I'm going to hit control to Dell and going to put my green shell so now I'm going to click on tools the wait for few seconds and active directory users and computers so now you can see the child domain control is is noida.victorinfosol.local if you want to verify the domain control the server is a child domain control and also the global catalog server so this is all about the installation of child domain control so we have already verified child domain so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question you can mail me on my given mail id and hope you guys enjoy my next videos so thank you for watching bye bye